Judges chapter 3, we're introduced to the very first three judges, Othniel, Ehud, and Shamgar. Shamgar's a really cool name, Shamgar. Now here's what's going on. Listen to, actually, we're going to read just one verse to start off with. Now these are the nations which the Lord left, that he might test Israel by them, that is, all who had not known any of the wars in Canaan. So God left some of the pagan nations there in Israel to test them, to try them, because this new group that had risen up, this new generation, had never really been tested by war or tempted by these foreign nations, so God leaves them. And what happens is, well, they fail, they fall, and they go into captivity. And the first captivity, because they fell into pagan lands, they're delivered after eight years by Othniel. And they begin to prosper again. They begin to worship the Lord and serve the Lord. And then Othniel dies, and they go back in to captivity. And this time for 18 years, and here's what goes down. After 18 years of captivity, God raises up Ehud, this guy, for some reason, they call him the left-handed man. And through trickery, through savvy, through much dependence on the Lord, he delivers them from the Moabites. And then he passes away, and you know the story. Captivity once again, this time to the Philistines. And it's Shamgar who delivers them. Not much said about Shamgar, except for the fact that he kills over 600 Philistines with his own bare hands kind of, he uses a, an ox goad and takes down 600 of them. So Judges chapter three, full of intrigue, full of deliverance, full of captivity. And we're reminded that God leaves certain things in our path, in our way, in our lives to test us, to try us, to make sure that our faith is real. But God is always, it seems, at least here in Judges three, willing to deliver those who call upon his name. Judges chapter three. We're introduced to our first three judges and a great story of deliverance.